All right, so um, here are Steve's LEDs with the uh, the lights kind of turned a little wacky, uh, just to show you in the camera what things look like. Um, I did the 14K Super Spectrum um, lighting, which was halfway decent. Um, seems to be giving good color to the fish, um, and there's enough blues to, to make things iridescent. Um, so that's that's good. Um, as far as putting it together, it's not terribly difficult. Um, it is a little time consuming, uh, simply because you have to modify the, the hood so much. Um, that's not really the fault of Steve's LEDs, but more the fact that you're modding something. Um, my only complaints, uh, I've, got, I've got three and then one minor one. Um, so the first is that um, the heat sink that it comes with is a little awkward to place and to drill. Uh, so you may run into a few issues and headaches there. Um, so you, it may be worth paying a few extra bucks to get that pre-drilled. Um, second complaint here is that in the uh, instructions it tells you that you should cut out these top gratings in your hood. Um, I actually wouldn't recommend that uh, simply because there's not the amount of airflow that they've kind of said there would be. Um, yeah, so I'll be 3D printing some some screens, some gratings to put over these because you know there's there's hardly any air really going through there at all. Um, and then the last little complaint there is that uh, I was assuming that I was going to get the little star LEDs, which are um, aluminum PCB shaped like stars. Um, and there's one LED per little PCB. Um, and the reason that I like that is because if I wanted to swap out a color, it was fairly easy to do so. Um, unfortunately, what they've sent me is a single strip with 14 LEDs all on the same strip. So if I want to change out any of the colors, say for red, or uh, for anything else for that matter, um, I'm kind of kind of SOL. Uh, so not particularly happy about that. Um, and then the last, I guess, little thing that I kind of want to mention is that uh, the LEDs seem to heat up the air in the tank quite substantially. Uh, I mean, it's a good 20 degrees above room temperature at least. Um, I may have to put a fan up here. I might not. Um, I mean, that's not that's not from the light on my hands. That's just the air itself. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we might have to experiment with how to fix that. Um, but it is an issue. Um, apart from that. It's pretty decent. Um, my corals have been without light most of the day, so they're a little upset at the moment, but they seem fairly happy with this light um, and are mostly starting to pop out of their, their little grooves. Um, so something you can do on here is you have two potentiometers that you can change the color balance. So for example, if I wanted to turn the blue way up, I could. And then likewise, if I want to turn the white down, do just blue, I can do that. Um, blue is actually a, a decent enough hue that it's making my uh, my little oscillaris glow, which is pretty cool. I haven't actually seen a, a blue manage to do that, so um, that's nifty. Um, likewise, we go the opposite direction. You turn the blue off almost entirely, and we get basically what you're seeing before. Um, your distance is good, so take a look at this guy. Uh, he's only a few days old, so he's not the prettiest at the moment. He's still a little uh, upset. But, turn the blues up. We can get some decent glow in there. Um, turn them down. Looks alright. Do same thing with these guys. Some pretty good iridescence on them. So, I mean, the LEDs seem to be good quality. Um, turn the white down. You can see, the, see it really glow. Um, same thing with uh, this little guy down here. Glowing like a madman. Sorry, tank's a little dirty. Um, all in all, decent. Uh, if I were to do this again, honestly, I would go to a place like SparkFun, um, which sells a variety of uh, different electronics, um, but included in those are some LED drivers um, and a few different uh, colors of LEDs that, that you could play around with. Um, the heat sink is really the only thing that sets this particular um, set apart from anyone else. Heat sink is a unique design and one that I thought was going to be really great. Um, it may take some money to actually get it to what, what it was promised. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's your overly long Steve's LEDs mini review. Thanks.